Good morning, YouTube. We're back with more stupid offers on cars we have for sale through our dealership. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and this is my garage, and this channel is all about the supercar ownership experience. And if you didn't know, we own a dealership. It's NG Supercars. We sell some cool cars. Well, one of the downsides of trying to sell cool cars like Ferraris and Lamborghinis and stuff like that is you get completely bullshit offers that just they make no sense. So let's go over the latest ones I've gotten. And all right, as usual, I've got my phone with all of the screenshots I've taken from the crappy offers. I will put them up on the screen over here for you guys. Okay, on our 458 Italia, this guy, he went back and forth forever. You're gonna have that all year, shaking my head, not even a counter. What kind of salesman is that? You know, 2010 are the worst year for transmissions clutch also around that mileage which is 30k shake my head so uh 2010s do have a reputation for having transmission issues on the 458 but the clutch is never a problem so i don't know why he's talking about the clutch he's just making up crap uh and i was like hey the transmissions were placed already and i said give me a real offer and i'll counter 150 is bullshit and you know it that's a real offer from a 26 years with three companies in this economy all my sales are down from last year everything's sitting that's not my problem we're not having that same problem our stuff's going up didn't mean to offended you my apologies just seeing you had it for a while trying to make a deal i said no you're trying to steal it and resell it for what i'm selling it more than what for i'm selling it for he said, no, rent it out. And I'm like, even worse. Got a Z06 in Lambo. Make my money back. Get claims from Turo. And I said, good luck with that. <laughs> Those of you that know, I've already done the Turo thing. Never again. One Lambo 300K plus back just in claims from renting. It was a Garado, not even Huracan all through Turo. No claims on my insurance. Finesse the game. I mean, I'm not even sure he's speaking English at this point. He continued, even though I wasn't responding. If you're thinking I could, businessman, you want them to wreck it after you've been renting it out so you get your money back plus whatever you made from rentals and the claims already. Someone going to wreck it. So basically his business plan is buy expensive cars, rent it on Turo, and pray that someone crashes the car. Great business plan. And I'm like, I did Turo before, never again, no thanks. And he's like, that's the point, why? Do you say that? Just have to use the to properly. You can get money from every ding and scratch as long as you take pics, especially if your car has carbon fiber lip. Anyways, 152, I'll take it. Thanks again. And I already turned down 160 at this point, so no. Uh, anyway, he was a complete waste of time and uh, obviously a shady as hell guy. Hello, is this available? My name is Greg Foster. I work at Reserve Auto Group in the Colony. We are interested in purchasing sport and exotic vehicles for the right price. We would love to bring you, uh, for you to bring it out so we could take a look at it and give you a bid on it. We're very interested. And I said, the right price is where it's at. I'm not driving this three plus hours for you to give me a lower offer. Yeah, uh, why would I drive this car halfway across Texas just for them to give me an offer? You could give me an offer, and then I'll drive it over. Is this available? Yes, it is. I'll buy it. Great, I'll need some info from you for the paperwork. I'll need your address, phone number, email, and a picture of the front and back of your driver's license. Then I can send you a bill of sale. Crickets. So one of the things that is kind of satisfying is when you got someone who's making you low offers on a car and then they come back to you after waiting like a week thinking that, oh, I'm gonna beat them up and get a better price and you sell the car. So this guy was trying to beat us up on the Porsche that we sold recently and he's like, keep the extra parts, but the best I can do is 190,000. Cash in hand. And I said, appreciate it, but we're just not gonna be able to make a deal. It's already below market at 220. You'll never find an RS this cheap and in this condition again, which is true. He said, okay, thanks for your time. So that was the night before or earlier that morning. And it literally sold like a couple hours later. And I said, actually, I just sold this morning, but thanks for your time. And he gave me a thumbs up and said, congrats, which you know is one of those like, congrats. Oh yeah, here we go. Another lengthy, lengthy one of someone trying to defend their car when they don't like the price I give. So this dude wanted to trade in a Camaro Z28 on the 458, uh, which honestly, I really didn't want the Z28. And he's like, Z8s, Z28s bring a lot of money. And I'm like, how much are you wanting to value it at? And he's like, real money on the Z28 right now is about 75 to 80, or 75 to 78, Mecom is 80 to 85, which I looked it up and it's a little high. That's mm, probably not gonna get that. It's all original, no, no modifications, never seen rain or a track of the turbo. He also was trying to, Trade a turbo, 
58 to 64. And I said, appreciate it, but we're going to be pretty far off the values. And then he's like, then you don't know values. And so I posted the MMR stuff, which maybe the MMR is not really 100% accurate on the Z28. It was at 50,000, basically. The turbo was at 45. That's kind of really what that car would go for wholesale. And I'm like, data doesn't lie, man. He's like, bro, bro. I watch the sales on these cars almost daily. I'm like, so do I. Yeah, that's... Uh, I have a business to run, so I can't make money. Uh, if I can't make money, I'm not going to buy it. Thanks. And I'm, again, I'm trying to like go away, and he just keeps going. First of all, you put 35,000 miles on your search engine, LOL, which he saw the, he didn't click on it. I didn't. I put the proper mileage. That's just the default. He's just dumb. And he's like, cluelessness. So I said, look at the mileage adjustment, dumbass, at the bottom. Bro, you need to learn to market. You're living in 2018. And then he posts pictures of those things selling at, at auction, which I love when people post it selling at auction. It's like, that's not what it's going to go for, okay? You can't cherry pick the best car that's sold for the best lucky price on the internet. That's not what your car is ever going to get. You're not going to get that lucky. So no, that's not what the car's worth. And then he posted all these where they're asking basically kind of about what he wanted or said it was like worth at the lower end. And I'm like, great, go sell it for that and come back with the cash. That's the thing. People always say their cars are worth so much more, but it's like, well, then you go sell it. Because if I have to go sell it, I have to do a bunch of work. So I need to make money on it. So I can't sell it for the number that you want, which is full retail. I have to sell it. For, I have to buy it for wholesale and make a margin. Never trust the book. You know that, especially with a collector series car. I wouldn't buy it at 75 and then post. And he just kept going. It's like, Oh my God, like I had shut up at this point. He just, yeah, anyway, okay. Hi Daniel, is this available? Yes, it is. Any mechanical issues? Be honest, please. I see the check engine light on. Um, so there are no mechanical issues uh, other than the LEDs on the steering wheel are not working. And like the check engine light is on that picture because the engine was not running. So uh, I guess he was trying to do like, I gotcha, gotcha, the check engine light's on. And I'm like, yeah. That, that's what happens before you turn on the car. And Ferraris, you know, they have the check engine like stay on for about 30 seconds after you turn on the car. So uh, just if you didn't know. Next guy. So which arm and leg, which arm and leg, add lung and kidney do you need for this? I said, whichever you can sell in the black market for 145,000 LL. At least it was original. I've got $50. I said, good job. Go treat yourself to a nice dinner. He's like, no, I meant, f I can, can I get it for $50? I said, sure, come get it, <laughs> idiot. Trade for a SEMA show truck. Dude, this guy has been trying to trade me a SEMA show truck on every single car I list. It's crazy. There's another guy also trying to trade me two Porsches on every single car I list. It's crazy. Like, it's, they're just desperate to sell these cars, but they have them super high valued. And it's like, well, yeah, of course I don't want it because you want too much for it. L want four of those new, no used. Next. Someone was asking for service uh, records on the Gardo. I said, uh, don't have the service records. Uh, clutch is at 42% remaining. He's like, thanks. Have the actuaries been done? Honestly, at 40%, it's basically saying it needs a new clutch. Why is there this dumbass mentality that anything less than half is somehow like the clutch is dead on these single clutch cars? That's just completely stupid. I don't know about the actuaries. 40% remaining is about 15,000 miles. That's pretty far from needing a new clutch. People are idiots. How much room do you have in it? Parentheses, negotiating. I said, none, it's priced very aggressively. And nothing, they ghosted me. Cool, financing options available. I said, we don't in-house finance, but we can work with some banks and refer you some. I would be at 135 plus tax title and license, write a front sheet so up so I can take it to my credit union and email it to some guy. Do you have an appraisal for it? And I said, I can't do it. It's perfectly priced as a market as is. Arguably, it's still ready, so I'm not going lower. He comes back at 141. And I said, 145, that's as low as I'm going. And ghosted. Give it to me at this price and write up the paperwork. No, bro, that's not how it works. Oh, boy, here we go. On the Super G, would you take $80,000 cash? I said, no, that's a terrible offer. He said, my bad, not trying to lowball. What's a good cash offer? How is that not trying to lowball? That is... The epitome of a lowball offer. $80,000 on a car we had listed for $145,900. No. And I said, $145. And he said, got you. Let me see what I can do. And I said, I'm not going on this price. Do your research. This is priced aggressively already. And it was. And we sold it for full ask. 
this was for one of our 430s. He said, hey, I don't have enough for this car, but do you have a video on how it sounds? $140,000 on our uh, $169,500 car. He said, no thanks. Another guy, $150,000. No thanks. Hey man, I'd be willing to talk trades for a 16 570S with 20,000 miles, 691 wheel horsepower. I have questions about gauging your interest first. And I said, we would consider a trade, but you would need to be able to make money. We would need to be able to make money on your car, so it's not going to be a retail offer. He said, oh, you're a dealer. Never mind, sorry. I always try to come out on top, which isn't ideal for a dealer. And I said, gotcha. Like, who, who said, I always try to come out on top? Like, okay, <laughs> this guy's an idiot. $140,000, and I said, no thanks. What's your best price? I said, 165,000. And he said, 150,000. I said, LOL, go away. He said, Happy New Year, Fokker. Hi, I run a company that finds people buyers for their supercars, and we only ask 3% broker's fee. Is that something you're interested in? Nope. Hello, is this available? Yes, it is. Sorry, sir, Preston, accent. I wish I could afford it, though, dream car. Man, thanks. 150K tomorrow. It's going to sit forever with that mileage and tune. No thanks. Who's bitching about the tune? I love this. The people complain about the tune. Oh, yes. Here we go. Hi, we are highly interested in adding this to our fleet. It has the potential to generate substantial revenue. I operate a sizable luxury and exotic car rental company in Las Vegas, and we're actively seeking additional inventory for profit-sharing opportunities. If you're open to collaborating, please get in touch. We are a fully licensed and insured legal rental car company. No, man. That's the dumbest shit ever. These, that's a new thing going around rental car companies asking for you to risk your ass putting your car in their fleet so that they can make money on your car without taking any risk. Dumbest thing ever. Please, for the love of God, do not do this. Can you do $200? Not even going to give a response to that one. How do you know is this available? LOL. When you're in need of a speed fishing boat bad enough, I'm your guy for trade. Haha, <laughs> but I just had a message to compliment your uh, truly a beautiful car. Thanks. Oh yeah, here's the Porsche guy. And I said, I think you've offered this car in just about every car I've tried to sell over the past six months. <laughs> he didn't respond to me on that one. I don't think he liked that. Uh, I have $120,000 cash I was going to use for down payment on a Huracan. I'll give it you to, straight to you and you can pick it and can pick it up quickly. And I said, I'll still need the remaining $25,000. He said, keep me in mind if you change your mind. Merry Christmas, bud. And gave him a thumbs up and said, come back when you're ready to pay. What do I got to do to get a car like this? Ah, uh, yes, that one. Trade for a SEMA car uh, show truck. See, told you, the guy. Hmm. Absolutely beautiful car. What makes you want to get rid of it? And I said, that's how I make a living. I own a dealership. Uh, oh, I love this. This guy starts off with, no one is spending money right now. Give me Gallardo in $25,000. And then he posts a picture of a Superlight. 21 Superlight, one owner, 1,300 miles, 780 horsepower, dominates everything on the track and street legal. No, I don't want a kit car, especially a crappy one that's in purple. Is this available? Yes, it is. Are you open to short-term seller finance? I'm picking up on two. I'm picking up on two businesses, and I want to keep an emergency fund. I said nope, but we can refer to a bank. Why would we ever do that? No. If you don't mind me asking, what would you recommend or advice on getting where you are while I'm still young? I would recommend working hard and not asking people on Facebook. Trade for a one of one Honda Civic. I said plus a lot of cash. Sure. Is this available? Yes, it is. Hello, Prive Price. And I said, as listed, 145.9. Ghosted. Is this available? Yes, it is. Trades. Possibly, what do you have? Stationary concrete batch plant. No. Hi, is this available? Yes, it is. Sorry, I accidentally clicked. No problem. Oh, yes, I like this one. So this guy was like trying to get where he would post and try and promote our cars and stuff. And he's like, I want a 1K in commission. I have multiple pages on social media I can post. I have targeted a specific and gray my following on Insta and Facebook and grew. I said, no thanks, I don't want to post on social, I'm already doing that, we kind of have our own thing. He said, but this is a trick, do you have a big targeted audience? Let me help you. So I checked out his stuff and his pages were small. I mean, he's like uh, trying to promote his himself as if he's got some big following, but there was like a couple thousand subscribers. And I'm like, I'm like yes I do, I have 85,000 subs on YouTube and a large Instagram profile. Uh, and a significant Facebook page. Hi, is this a dealer or private dealer? Willing to wholesale? I'm a dealer myself, dealer to dealer. And I said, not really, it's consignment and we believe it's already priced aggressively. Okay, sir, thank you. See, now that is a proper transaction. 
Very simple. Realized he wasn't going to get a deal. Moved along. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is this available? Yes, it is. How much if I pay cash? 145000 Will you take one twenty? No. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the, but then he continues. 130000 and deal, I got a loan. I said, I appreciate the offer, but I'm not going to go below 145 It's the cheapest clean and unmolested the super G on the market by a good amount. It's priced exactly where it needs to be. Either buy it at 145 or find another one. Okay. When can I see if I paid cash? Any discount? I said, no discounts for cash. You can see it anytime you want. Okay, don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> Love it. Uh, hi, Daniel. Is this available? I just want to take this for a drive. It's been my dream to drive one. And I'm like, sorry, man, we don't do that. Hey, would you consider $132,000 for this? I can save your tax credit also. You net around $143,000. I'm like, dude, I'm a dealer. <laughs> $120,000 cash in hand. Appreciate the offer, but no thanks. Is this available? Yes, it is. Okay, can I call you? Sure. Here's my number. Okay, got your post, but for my safety, can I send you a code number to make sure you are real? That's a scam that they're doing, so they ask for your phone number, and then they do like a a code that you're supposed to read back to them, which is clearly them trying to hack in your account and do your two-factor authentication. So if someone ever asks for your number and then asks for a code, they're a scammer. <sighs> I said, nope, you can call. And I'll he's like, I'll confirm that your ad is right, then I'll call you now and meet with cash. So can I send the code? I'm like, seriously, man, stop scamming people. Who's dumb enough to fall for your stupid shit? So can I send it? It's like, he <sighs> I'm like, go get, a go get a real job, stop being an asshole scum. And LOL, no, go f*** yourself. Oh yes, on my Facebook post, someone put, price too high. I said, I appreciate your opinion. No wait, I don't. Why would you waste your time posting this? Oh, my favorite. We were posting Richard's car, which only has 7,703 miles on it. This guy goes, them seats look like they've done more than 7.7K. So I said, you're right, they've done 7.703K. <laughs> $115,000. And I said, I appreciate the offer, but that's pretty far off. Is there, are you, is there a dealer or a private? And I'm like, dealership. Ghost it. I want to share some of my thoughts and ideas with my, which might be implemented in your esteemed organization and child achieve higher benefits for the company. I plan to integrate my extensive experience in automations to save you $50,000 to $100,000 yearly in customer services to create a seamless transaction experience for your customers. I am to tailor my services to meet the customer's needs and ensure proper interactions on social media. This approach will ensure a secure transaction, transaction and adhere to local guidelines. Would you be interested in that, brother? No. Why? And I ignored him. Any question, question marks? I'm like, dude, go away. <sighs> yeah, please go away. People like that, just go away. Well, YouTube, as you can see, Endless supply of stupidity on the internet for offers on supercars. Anyway, if you want to make a real offer on one of our supercars, go check out NG Supercars, or better yet, send us an email, sales at ngsupercars.com, but we appreciate your guys' support. Thank you for watching all of our videos and for buying products and services from us. We do appreciate that greatly, so thank you. We will see you in the next video. We'll be doing some more cool car stuff, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.